Okay, what's up, people? Welcome to another interesting package on this channel. This is how we do it every week. Of course, we take you through radio presentations. Whether you're a rookie or you're a professional, you've got one or two to pick on this channel. Today, what are we looking at? I want to look at uh, five uh, tips of a good radio intro. Intro. I take that again. Five uh, tips of a good radio intro. Every radio presenter needs this very particular package. You can afford to miss this. Thank you, Paul Always. My name is Kami Karika Talk. Welcome to this very particular package. I'll see you in a jiffy. Okay, welcome back. I'm sure you must have subscribed, like, and share. If not done that, please kindly subscribe, like, and share because someone would definitely love to see this video. Like I said earlier, before I went that break, I told you uh, that I uh, want to look at uh, five tips of a good radio intro. When we talk about uh, intro, we talk about uh, when, we talk, when we talk about uh, radio intro, we talk about the start of a radio show this is the point where a presenter introduces uh, what he has for the listeners this is the stage where the presenter tells you if the program is focusing on a particular topic if the uh, program today will be having a guest with him or her he will let you know that is what we call an intro and it is very important to know some certain tips that definitely will hold your listeners in order for you to engage them 100 percent for them to be part of the show from the start to the end the first one is you must sound welcoming just like uh, a hotelier you know when a, a, a client or a customer visits a hotel and uh, you're fortunate to meet the hotelier or rather the hotel manager the way he or she approaches you like oh you're welcome this is your hotel you've we'll been expecting you Come, have your seats, make yourself comfortable. That is exactly what you try to do uh, when you're introducing your show. Imagine something like this. Uh, good afternoon, listeners. Welcome to another interesting edition of your show. Lunch hour on your Super Dollar 893 FM. Hope you're doing good. Welcome. Let's do it together as usual. It's your show. It's our show. Let's enjoy the show. My name is this. And uh, sometimes you might even state the time state uh, uh the dates but not too necessary but of course you have to state the title of i mean the, the program's title if it's launch hour if it's uh overnight lounge uh if it's uh weekend delight you need to establish so that uh, the listeners will know that if they are in the right place or not because most definitely you must have had uh, a regular um, you must have uh, some regular listeners who always follow your show so they've got to know oh that is karika talk oh, oh that is our favorite uh presenter coming up again with our favorite uh, program so talking about uh the first point you must sound welcoming talk to them as see where you'll be expecting them that that is uh, i love to have you guys around every time i'm super happy knowing that at uh, eight time and here you are there the other hand ready to listen to my show so you smile the mood itself will tell the listeners that yes the guy is back let's enjoy it as usual number two is involve your listeners involve your listeners let it appear to your listeners that uh, this is our show let's do it together as usual welcome listeners uh, tell someone tell someone to inform someone uh, that a uh, character talk is here and uh, let's do it as usual as if you are just like you sound like a representative of your listeners uh, on that show that is our thing i'm just like a hunker person and it's all our show let's do it together because you can't do it alone you can't do without your listeners come to think of it you're presenting a program and no one is listening it's as good as you're presenting your whole room and uh, talking to nobody but to a mirror or yourself so when you introduce yourself and sound convincing let your listener know that uh, it's a show uh, you are very much involved uh, please go along with me and let's make this particular show 
a success. Number three is try as much as possible and create suspense. Very, very necessary. And that's why you say a good presenter when you talk, you make good use of adjectives. It could be something like that. Today's program is going to be amazing. It's going to be wonderful. You can afford to miss this very particular one because in the studio with me, I've got uh, a, an amazing artist uh, that will be joining us this afternoon. Wow! And uh, such an amazing artist. Uh, such an interesting artist. Uh, such uh, a beautiful person that uh, you need to see her uh, and tell and confirm that uh, truly is beautiful you know when you had adjectives like this it creates kind of suspense and your listeners feel like oh who is that person we can't wait to meet the person and uh, if necessary part of your intro you can just chip in like just like, like like a clue of what you'll be looking at also it will go a long way of course i move on to the very next one summarize summarize summary is key when it comes to uh radio intro very important Let anything from 10 seconds then a minute or two maximum for a radio intro is just too perfect it's okay if you can do less than two minutes it's like being the best because uh, you naturally human being we don't have the, we, 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 we don't have that time we don't have that quality time to wait for you and the listener keep postponing and telling this is what i have for you this is what I have. so try and summarize all your points within the first one minute or two maximum and so that's say that your name will have been included in that uh, the title of the show the topic uh, the suspense where you need to bring that adjective the hook where you need to state that uh, oh you missed this program then you've missed it all because today's edition is as uh, is going to be a very different package uh because uh, today i didn't even come alone i came with so many people in the studio the studio is full to the brim you now these are things that people listeners will feel like oh we like to know uh what is it all about so summary is actually key when it comes to intro please talking about uh, radio intro definitely we talk about hook what do we mean by hook this time around we're talking about uh, attention span of human and the first impression attention span of human and the first impression research has shown that a human being uh, can only focus for the first it used to be 12 it used to be 15 seconds but now it has reduced drastically to like eight seconds so that's to tell you that in the first eight seconds you must have made sense in the first eight seconds when uh, you're engaging your listeners you must have done something really interesting to engage them the first eight seconds is highly important creating that first impression we hold on to your listeners to tell them that okay uh, today's show will be interesting. I'll stay. I'll stay glued to read to the end of this show. I don't want to miss a part of it. Telling you that uh, the first eight, ten seconds of your show is very important. It will definitely create what we call it first impression, and first impression will last longer. Okay, and that's all I've mentioned. Five. Point. The first one is sound welcoming, and number two, a simple involve your listeners. And number three, create suspense. Number four, summarize. Summary is actually key. And finally, number five, hook, hook. That particular statement that will hold on to your listeners that yes, I must be a part of this. The mood, the way you smile, everything will go a long way to tell your listeners if truly they will be part of this show. Okay, as usual before I go, I'd like to tell you one or two words that possibly, probably you mispronounce. Today we'll talk about uh, some popular names. Uh, you see some of them in the Bible and some of them are actually English names that we all mispronounce. The first one is Samuel. Samuel and not Samuel. Samuel and not Samuel. The second one is Michael. Michael and not Michael. Michael not Michael. I hope you stop saying Michael and you start saying Michael. The next one is Mary. Mary 
mother of Jesus. It's not Mary. It is Mary. Not Mary. It is Mary. So please take note of that. Mary, mother of Jesus. And never Mary. <laughs> I'm on to the fourth one. The fourth one is Deborah. Deborah, such a very popular name, but sometimes you hear people say Deborah. Deborah. I don't know. But the right thing to say is Deborah. Deborah. And the final one, the final name we've got today is Felix. Felix, not Felix. It's quite unfortunate that uh, some of these names have corrected. The, the bearer of some of these names don't even know the right pronunciation of those names. Samuel, not Samuel. Mary, not Mary. Michael, not Michael. Deborah, Deborah, not Deborah. And finally, Felix, not Felix. Thank you for being part of this very short video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share because someone definitely needs it. See you in the next video.